Hi folks, this is your old pal, Uncle Al. You know, we have a lot of smoke and mirrors. Yeah, a lot of people freak out when they see a lot, something goes wrong. Now, Uncle Al's going to tell you the truth, okay? Don't believe everything you hear on some of these prepper channels. It's a lot of fear of porn. It wasn't verified. It wasn't confirmed. Okay? And when they start giving out reports, a lot of these reports, okay, first trick of smoke and mirrors, because I keep showing this, and people ever, never, ever listen to old Uncle Al. Okay? Techniques of propaganda and persuasion. When they say, I saw it on the news, Russia attacked Poland. They don't see the big picture. A lot of these little channels and fear porn channels all jump on the fear porn wagon. All right? It, yes, Poland was hit with a couple of missiles. Unfortunately, they can't verify where it came from. Okay? A lot of anonymous sources can't verify it. Russia didn't launch anything. Okay? There's a couple of prime suspects. And this occurs right after the final count of two highly claimed states for the midterm. That was Nevada and Arizona. I smell a rat. Okay? Smoke and mirrors. Again, you should have got this book. I've been pushing it for the last two years. All right? Germany, okay, one of the NATO nations that's in trouble is Germany. What better way to get rid of its opposition, not Russia, Poland, is to, well, we got a couple of these Russian missiles. They won't notice. And Poland, like, who oh, shot me in the back? Okay, smoke and mirrors, folks. It's a, like World War II, Operation Can Soup or Cabbage or whatever. They did that and say, Poland attacked us and charge into Poland. And the Russians say the same thing. Oh, Poland attacked us. We're helping the Rus uh, Germans. And they rush it in. Okay? Now, who's going to benefit from all this? It happened right after the midterms. Last two counts. I smell a rat. And it starts with damn, and you got it. Okay? Now, wh why uh, Captain Crazy... And JT up north is dancing like, yay! Okay? A lot of people forget that the main force, what they used in Ukraine, is garbage tanks. They have another tank. It's winterized. And there's 3,000 of us. The old T upgraded. T-80 series. That's a winterized tank. Lousy in tropical countries. Lousy and desert. Its main purpose was defend Russia and also to crush NATO. They still have 3,000 tanks unaccounted for. 3,000. So think about it. Why would they drop missiles into Poland and in certain areas? Okay? Suspects. Germany. Ukraine. Ukraine got three missile batteries. Russian origin, and they grabbed it, okay? They could be goofing around. Also, one of these batteries where volunteers from Canada was to how to teach them how to use it. And I think I had a good idea. This is my own opinion. Whoops. Okay? I spill my Diet Pepsi on the keyboard. Okay? That might have happened. We don't know yet. But the missiles cannot be in, cannot be designated. There was no launch sites from Russia or Russian-held territories. Prime factor, who has Russian missiles? There's eight NATO countries had the same missile system. One that shot down the airliner. These are short-range tactical missiles. So, prime suspect, Ukraine. Okay, what better way to say... See, Russia did it, Russia did it, Russia did it, Russia did it. And I don't like people on 
fear porn channels and other smaller channels saying, I've seen it on NSN or other alternative media sources. <laughs> I watch sumo late in the morning. Okay? When I see Korean and Japanese and Indonesian news interrupt by this stuff, stuff and a, a lot of the news media over there is dead on because they have censorship laws and no propaganda. They're, they're looking at like, why would Russia and retreat fire missiles only in Poland? Why didn't they go wide strike? Common sense one. Univision. Why did they strike certain areas in Poland? Only one who gained advantage is Poland. Poland, if Ukraine had fallen, would get wide strass of the po Ukraine region bordering Poland, like they did before World War I, and after World War I, and then the, that's why the Russians invaded get back that territory. People forget that Poland was a lot bigger bef before World War II. Okay? Perfect way to get rid of your old enemy, Ukraine. Get rid of Poland. They only strike certain areas of Poland that cause damage and limit the, the civilian strike. Because once they take it, if it turns around and Russia's in retreat, we, we pay Ukraine. Ukraine like say, hmm... I think I'll invade Poland. And all the re refugees in Poland like, surprise! And that's my opinion, but could be around. Who benefits all this? Who's playing King of the Hill? Think about it. Who plays King of the Hill? And not the cartoon. The heat, the heat, the heat. China. China's always been the third man. China has a long border with Russia. China it will back everybody, make money, until they can push them off the hill. So you push off number two man, you have number one man, USA. Yay, we invaded Leningrad. We failed. That's the time, like, you tell North Korea, it's time to take over eastern Russia, Siberia. And they plow right through. Okay? Not a problem. You had China and North Korea attacking Russia. Cut off all its specific ports. And then R Russia starts shrinking and losing all its resources. Meanwhile, NATO and China kicks off the U.S. and plows into Russia. So, and China could buddy up to Eastern or Central Asia and say, see, how stupid the foreigners or the Westerners do back with us and we'll take over the area. And by end of the summer or next year, you know, we should not have been involved. We should not be totally thing. Now we have a threat of nuclear war. And uh, what you might call it? JB, Captain Crazy, might like, okay, let's invade Russia. Now, Russia could lose the Winter War, or Russia wins the Winter War, and they could say, okay, JBN, uh, you smell a rat, people. I'm pissed. And there goes Europe. One billion people killed, or sick, or injured from nuclear radiation. And then the whole entire East Coast, you bought the big farm, including Ottawa. Now, if Russia follows the 13 colonies plan, including Ottawa area, it'll be over. World War III is over. China and Russia, they could, you know, we didn't want this war. The Americans pushed it on us. You could blame JB for it. This is my opinion. And then they'll invade Alaska and Hawaii, Guam, and go through the Pacific like a sigh. Okay, and then you'll miss the western portion of Oregon because British Columbia came in and wiped it out. And then you see people fighting over Alberta and British Columbia. It's going to be like World War I out there again. 
in the snow fighting. And a lot of you, Generation Z, Y, and X, are going to get drafted. Uncle Alan isn't, because he's old and sick and half blind. So think about it. Okay, and those people, aren't you going to take away our college debt? No, you've just been drafted. Congratulations. Okay, this is my opinion. Do your own research. All right, it could be faulty and stinks like hell. Do not fall for the fear porn. Okay? Until they verify who launched those missiles. All right? Because Russia was in retreat. Why would they shoot missiles in a retreat? At Poland, they could have shot missiles in Ukraine, but Poland is like, huh? All right? Who could benefit, benefit from this? Think about it. Who will benefit from this? benefit from this China America because we won the midterm yeah <laughs> call the secret service the president's outside ping on the rose bushes okay so you think about it when you have the orange man we don't like Donald Trump we never had close to a nuclear war either so it's your fault folks remember results from the midterm China doing their thing. Somebody's pushing off whoever is trying to be king of the hill. A lot of stupidities. I'm waiting for the aliens. So anyway, I'll catch you later. This is my opinion. Don't believe in all the... Like Canadian Prepper and a few other channels. This is it. This is World War Three. No, it isn't. It could be a mistake. Or... It could be some boneheads trying to start World War III. And if it was, certain military fa factions should do a coup and take care of the whoever pushed that button. All right, folks. I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. Bye now.